Hey everybody, welcome back. I am the 90s guy, Dr. Nick, and welcome back to the show. Today's topic, what professional wrestling means to me. Now, we all are fans of professional wrestling for many reasons. Uh, the action, the drama, the athleticism of the wrestlers, or just, you know, the fact that it's just entertaining to watch. There's many reasons. One of the biggest reasons why a lot of people are fans of professional wrestling and movies and stuff like that is because it allows you to escape reality, even if it's for a couple hours. Uh, people have compared professional wrestling to the male soap opera. Uh, you know, there's there's many different ways to interpret it. You know, everybody says, well, isn't it scripted? Isn't it fake? I'm not going to get into that argument, but uh, it's, you know, I use the comparison of when you go to a movie, you watch a movie, you know that a lot of it isn't real, but you're still entertained by it, and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about why professional wrestling is important to me and what it's done for me in my life. Now, those who don't know me, my name is Dr. Nick. I am 30 years old. I turn 31 uh, next month, the 26th, and I suffer from depression, social anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder. If you don't know what those things are, Google it. Um, professional wrestling was something that I discovered at a very young age, around five or six, and I remember sitting in my room on a little yellow tight plastic chair, staring at a wood console TV. And I remember uh, one of the most memorable, at least one of the matches I remember anyway, uh, it was Big Boss Man and Hulk Hogan in a steel cage. I don't remember what it was on, uh, excuse me, but it was, from then I was just hooked. My brother was a fan of wrestling. I mean, we all were during that time, Hulk Hogan, Ultimate Warrior, Macho Man Randy Savage. Million Dollar Man, Ted DiBiase, uh, Legion of Doom, the list goes on. And from then on, you know, I uh, was just a fan of it. I, I watched as much as I could. And then, of course, you know, once uh, Monday Night Raw came around in 93, I mean, because back then, I mean, we watched uh, Saturday Night's Main Event. And then also, I believe we watched some of the pay-per-views as well. And then we, you know, I would go to the video store and rent, you know, the Coliseum videos and watch the pay-per-views. And then the Attitude Era came around, and I started uh, subscribing to uh, WWF Magazine, watching the pay-per-views, watching Monday Night Raw, and then SmackDown came around, and you know, it just kind of spiraled from there. And you know, as you can see behind me, I collect the figures, uh, T-shirts pictures i mean just anything really um i'm a fan of all the different years and generations of wrestling i was a fan of wcw ecw um i'm a fan of ring of honor lucha underground you know basically all wrestling i mean it's it's entertaining for me it allows me to escape uh for a couple hours you know i could be having a bad day i fire up my playstation 3 go on the wwe network Throw a DVD player, you know, throw a DVD in the DVD player, Blu-ray, you know. Uh, watch uh, old pay-per-views, compilation disc. And the only thing I'm worrying about is what I'm watching on the screen. The, you know, the charisma, the wrestlers, the gimmicks. Uh, it's, you know, just like Monday Night Raw. Not always, every Monday Night Raw has always been the greatest, but for those three hours... I'm focused on what's going on in the screen. I'm not focused on what's going on anywhere else in my life. So it's it's kind of a stress reliever. And, you know, some of you out there might say, you know, aren't you a little bit old to be collecting, you know, wrestling figures and toys and stuff like that? To some people, yeah, it might be, you know, uh, very childish and ridiculous. But, hey, I'm not hurting anyone. It brings my, me joy in my life. There's tons of people that collect all different kinds of things, you know, whether it's guns, knives, cars, uh, sports memorabilia, all kinds of things. So, you know, who is anyone or myself to judge anyone that collects anything? 
because it brings joy to me. It doesn't hurt anybody. So, you know, what does it matter? But professional wrestling, um, I've been involved with the indie circuit, uh, not as a performer, so to speak. I've never been a wrestler, but I play a character named Dr. Nick. And uh, also, you know, I've done commentary, and I also used to be a former referee. And that's always been a lot of fun to watch as well. I've always enjoyed that, and I've always respected those who have put their body on the line to entertain others. So, you know, basically, professional wrestling as a whole has always been a big part of my life. I've always looked up to guys like Hulk Hogan, uh, Jake the Snake Roberts, Scott Hall, uh, Dusty Rhodes, you know, these guys are my heroes. Uh, just like, you know, other people look up to other sports stars. So, you know, for me, when a lot of these people started passing away, it really hit me hard. It did. You know, we all get upset when celebrities and people that we looked up to, uh, they pass away. So, I mean, in a way, it's it's kind of like you're losing a friend. You're losing someone who is part of your life, and you've seen them constantly, even though you didn't really know them personally. Uh, the Ultimate Warrior really hit me. Owen Hart, uh, Dusty Rhodes, Roddy Piper. Um, but it's it's helped. Professional wrestling and collecting has helped me with deal with my social anxiety and my depression and my post traumatic stress disorder. It's helped me a great deal, and it has for years. And I will continue watching and enjoying this this fine hobby of mine. But today I just wanted to kind of come on here and just talk a little bit about it. And, uh, you know, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and uh, watch my other videos as well. But, ladies and gentlemen, this has been another episode of The 90s Guy, and I'll see you later.